the NFL on EA Sports. And we've got the Panthers reigning league MVP. He had a nice effort a week ago with a pair of touchdowns. It's the Panthers and the Saints on EA Sports. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today, after a crazy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here between the Carolina Panthers and the New Orleans Saints. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Saints team as they interplay. They come in off a loss in the opener last week. That one was on the road. Now they get their first taste here of home cooking. And what they're hoping to do is feed off the energy of the home crowd. Great tailgate, great fan support. Let's see if they can put it to good use. On the other side of the field for the visiting Panthers. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. The first game's out of the way. Time to buckle down for the long season ahead, and we're off in week two from the six. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And able to break this out all the way to the 38-yard line. Great return. So here are the Panthers now for their opening drive. And a glance at the tall signal caller, standing 6-6. I tell you what, when he's on schedule for that week, secondaries take notice because you've got to stay alert back there on every snap. A truly powerful arm, one that's capable of challenging any level of the defense on any given play. That's why so many scouts preach arm talent when preparing for the NFL draft. A quarterback with arm strength to make every throw in the book, he's an asset to have in any offense. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Micah Parsons from that outside linebacker spot gets in there. It's a loss of nine. Got to hope that's not a sign of things to come as they face an early second and long. gets to him again. A miserable start here on their opening drive as they come up on a third and very long. He's going deep for Brown. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Here's the Panthers punter now as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. So here are the Saints with a long field ahead. And trotting out there, a guy who's established himself as a veteran in this league, now in his fifth year at quarterback. And he certainly had his share of struggles in the opener through a couple of ill-time interceptions in the game. So that was something that was harped upon all week in practice. Because if he's going to help this team be a winning one, he can't give the football away like he did last week. They'll start on the ground, Hall. And he will forge his way forward only up to the two-yard line. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. All again on second down. And he'll take this up to about the seven or eight yard line. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Here's Corral. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there. And now fourth down. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. Taking on the midfield logo. They'll score that a 36-yard punt, and the Panthers will take over in terrific field position. Let's go, man. I can't run you. 
They go play action here on first down. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Three and a half to go, first quarter. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Off the play fake, Carter. Working the sideline here. Did he get the feet in? Yes, they say that he did. Nice job tapping both of them down. Back to throw again. And he will find his man on the outside. So not quite a first and goal just yet as they come up now second and inches. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he'll take this into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. A great play there. His third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Panthers will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. So another touchdown for him on the year now, Charles. He had two in the opener last week and hits pay dirt for a third time here. And with good health, he's got a really good chance to be up there among the leaders in touchdown scored when this season comes to an end. Quick question, partner. Is it bad luck to toast him with a sports drink? Not at all, partner. I think that's a fantastic idea. Cheers. Fields it right around the goal line. And not a good return here at all as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. For most people, the excitement of a kickoff return is to see a long one that goes back in the opposite direction. But for the guys covering it, it's being able to stop them deep in their own territory. How about that incredible form tackle right there? Shoulder in the ball carrier, and down he goes. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. To throw on second and ten. Corral. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. 12 yards there, good for a Saints first down. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Corral's throw caught by Alave. The numbers for him from a week ago, and you figure that he'll probably be a big factor in this one as well. No question about it, partner. We just saw right there. They want to get him the ball in space and see what he can do after the catch. On second down, a run with Hall. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. On first down, right back to Hall. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Hall again. And not much room to speak of. He'll get about three up to the 41. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. On third down, Corral. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. He's got it. Hit the 15. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. They'll run on first down. Winters, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Keep in mind, they can still get a first down here as they come up on second and inches. Out of the gun, they run it with Hall. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Brees Hall, his second touchdown on the season. And the Saints are an extra point away from evening this one up. 
The extra point splits the uprights, and we are tied at seven. So that drive consumes nine plays, all told. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And it was capped off by a Brees Hall touchdown run. Fielded just outside the goal line. And he'll be out of bounds here, a yard shy of the 25 of the 24. The Carolina offense about ready to go. Early on, you know, Charles, every game could be called a measuring stick game. But I think when it comes within your division like this, it's a measuring stick game with a little extra injury. I would agree with that totally because all division games have a little extra to them. But I like where this game is situated because at this stage of the season, it has that little extra juice. But at the same time, it's not a make or break if this were, let's say, he's got a man complete. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. When teams practice their plays during the week, they're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. Dancing. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. On second down, they'll run it here. And he's going to take this across the 50 and into Saints territory. This offense so far on third down, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 14. This is caught. It's Brown. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 26. Looking to throw. Carter. This will be caught once again by Brown. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10. And mark him at the 5. And he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down. But I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. Offside. Ethan. So obviously they will decline the penalty there, and the result is six points. Extra point up and through, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So that drives seven plays in length, and it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded right around the eight. Well, now how about this return? He's to midfield. And he's out of bounds, but not before getting across the 50 to the 45. For just about every special teams meeting, there's a discussion with the punter about his importance. Why? He can flip the field for your team defensively, move it deep into their own territory, or if you're backed up on offense, and he can hit a big punt and change field position and help his defense. In this case, though, field position got flipped by the return team. You can do it so many different ways on special teams. Straight ahead is Hall, and he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. And now a fumble. The ball's out, and it's picked up by the Panthers. And he's able to bring it up five yards shy of midfield to the 45-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at the 45. Following the fumble recovery, Carter eluding the and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Off play action. Carter. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts 
as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And you can't do it much better than that. This ball kicks out of bounds at the four-yard line. That is how you flip field position. That's an absolute bomb of a punt. Downs it inside the five-yard line. Absolutely ideal. And from that position, you're hoping to get it down inside the 15, inside the five. Superb. Now Hall to start the drive. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Now another timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And he's got his man on the out route. And they're going to have a first down and also well into field goal range all the way down to the 15 here. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. To throw again on second down. Corral. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. Again, it's Corral. So a big call there, that brings up fourth. Here comes the Saints punter now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. And take it right at the 35. It'll be a 41-yard punt, give him five on the return. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Got a man, it's Brown. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. So three seconds here remain in the half on as the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the right hash, this from 53. And his kick is right there. It's good, and that will do it for this first half. So we reach halftime here in a 10-point game. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, we'll get you back to you and Charles in a bit. But first, it's time for a trip around the NFL following an eventful opening weekend. Let's see what's happening in week two. We'll start over at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, where it was the Bucks who were able to get the victory at home. Darius Slayton, a touchdown catch in the victory. From there, we head up to Foxborough to check on the Patriots at home at Gillette Stadium. And they have the lead over the visiting New York Jets. Damian Harris with a touchdown run. Finally, let's get up to the place they call Title Town, Green Bay, Wisconsin, to see what's happening with the Packers. And they were victorious in that one over the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Van Jefferson, well over 100 yards with two touchdown catches to boot. Now time for a check of the next-gen stats in the first half for Carolina. And despite the big lead, they really did next to nothing throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage. We'll see how aggressive they want to be going forward. Meanwhile, for the Saints, we check on their numbers on the ground in the first half as they know they'll need to be better to overcome this halftime deficit. Both teams going through their final halftime adjustments. We're about ready to get back to football. And to bring you the second half from the Superdome, let's go back to Brandon and Charles. All right, Coach, thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. And the Saints set to go here to begin the third quarter. 
Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. And the Panthers are going to take possession of the football. As they started that drive, I think they looked at the scoreboard and said, this is a manageable deficit, guys, but let's go ahead and start cutting it down right here. Instead, an interception happened, so a two-possession game might become three. So as we get going here in the second half, this could rapidly reach the point where there isn't enough time left for a comeback if their defense doesn't bail them out. Now a play fake here on first down. He gets this one to Boyd. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed it up with another nice one here. And before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. It'll be a loss of two, maybe three on the play. And that will lead to a third and goal. Well, if you're going to turn things around in a game like this, Charles, those are the kind of plays that you need. And I just love the way that defense rallied to the football on that one. They got the completion, but he was smothered behind the line of scrimmage. And when you make tackles like that, your whole deep feeling the pressure here and taken down. A sack back at the seven. Aziz Ojolari picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Let's go now. Now Carter throwing on fourth down. Touchdown! A great effort there. His first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Panthers' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes. And while this game is far from over, I love their approach. No problem there on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. A little jet sweep to start the drive. And not much there at all, as he'll get this only up to about the 11. Second and nine. Corral. Oh, tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect him to do exactly that. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 24. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. This taken in at the goal line. And a nice job there on special teams to limit him to inside the 15 as he's dropped at the 14. Here we go, here we go. On first and 10, it's Hall. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. On second down, here's Corral. He'll let this go deep for Bourne. His throw incomplete. 
This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Corral looking to throw it. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. That'll go as a punt of 34 yards that time. And the Panthers will take over now, first and 10. So here are the Panthers set to take over. They got the victory last week. That was against the Baltimore Ravens, and they have the lead here as well. Look at right sideline. That's complete. And they'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second-half blowout material. The throw over the middle taken in, and he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. And now they're in the hurry up. Back to throw is Carter to throw on second down. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. Now this offense really looking polished these first couple of weeks. Here's first and 10. Back to throw. Carter. And he's got it. And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. His pass caught at the four. Touchdown, Panthers. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Panthers get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. The Carolina kick team is out there ready to go, and they kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And not a great return here. He'll make it back only to the 10-yard line. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Corral. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. Final minute now of the third quarter. Fakes a handoff. Now Corral to throw it. He'll buy some time right. He completes it to Alave. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Now flags will come in. And I think this is against the Saints up All front. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. A full start backs him up five, first and 15. Hall ought to give up the middle. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On second and 15 now, Corral. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. It'll go down as a gain of six. And that's going to set up a tough third and nine. They'll come to the line here needing nine yards to pick up the first. On third down, here's Corral. Buying time to his left. Nothing open downfield, so he'll throw it away. Fourth down, desperation time. Here's Corral. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And the Panthers are in great shape here as they take over at their 46-yard line. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming, and they stayed in position, Charles, 
and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard, they see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he's taken down at the 50 after a short gain of two. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The Panthers on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is going to be third and 13. The ball comes out, and this is picked up by the Saints. And they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. You and I have been around teams, and they all have goals for games, don't they? And every team we've ever talked to says what? No turnovers. <laughs> don't turn the ball over. Zero. And they were that close to getting it done. Won't cost them today, but they'll hate that when they're watching the game tape. On second and very short, Corral finding Bourne here over the middle. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Here's Corral on first down. Pass complete once again to Bourne. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Saints football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Corral looking for another pass here. Got the connection here to Bourne. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. A good position to be in here, second and inches. And Corral will throw it. And it's caught. And he's across for the touchdown. Too little, too late. But he does get in for six. No wonder you're grinning. You just beat me in our fantasy league. Indeed I did, my good man. Extra point splits the uprights. And the lead's down to 24. So it would no doubt be a miracle comeback from here. But let's see what they can do starting with the onside kick. And it looks like the Panthers' hands team does its job. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation. And now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. The line to gain is the 33 on third down. They'll try and run this one right up the gut. And he can only manage to take the football to the 40, and that is well shy of the first down marker. So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary trump. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. He completes it. They've got a first down. And they're able to pick up the first and keep possession. Wow, first and goal, and defensively, all they can do is shake their heads. Not only did they allow the conversion, but a big play as well. Well, this was a really nice display, Charles, of complimentary football, especially how much they were humming in the second half to pull away and get the victory. Really a complete performance. 
and so much fun when you're able to have everyone contribute both sides of the ball you go back in the locker room and you just savor it right because that's what football's all about a true team game and they got it done in this one so for the Panthers, it was a great all-around performance as they come out of this one with the victory. And they'll return home next week to take on the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for the Saints, they'll drop to 0-2. And they'll look to get back on the B 